Hello everybody and welcome to a new series of what is hopefully going to be a long and very entertaining series. We are here on a very large skyship with a bunch of like villager huts or something up there. I don't know because we're not going to stay on this ship for very long because we are walking through this portal. Why are we walking through this portal? Portal? Why are we walking through this portal? Because the journey begins here. We are playing Skyblock uh, FTB Skies. I think that's what it's called. FTB Skies. So we are going to go through this portal. So we have our options of an, a Sky Island, an Anti-Sky Island, which don't know what that means. Minimalist Sky Island, Chosen Sky Island, or a Compact Sky Island. I am going to stick with Minimalist Sky Island. Um, I've practiced a little bit with this. I did some speed tests for my computer. I did some recording tests just to make sure that everything worked properly. And I did, like, the first book of quests in this game. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but just to make sure that I understood how it went, and I really liked the start of the minimalist Sky Island. Uh, the big Sky Island is cool. It just, it's, there's a lot that's already there, and I want to start literally, it's just like a three by three by two and a tree and a chest and some water. That's all you get. So we are going to start that up. Uh, this might take a minute. It doesn't look like it's going to. The first few times I've loaded this, it took a minute to go. So, we're here. Awesome. And we already have a quest completed. Join the island. Welcome. Welcome to FTB Skies, the new Skyblock pack for 1.19.2 that will continue on into the future versions of Minecraft, which it already has, but we're playing the basic version, not the expert version, just because I don't think I'm ready for the expert version yet. Uh, these quests are entirely optional, but will help guide you through your adventure on your Skyblock world. The far left of the quest book has the chapter list. Most resource acquisition can be found through JEI, but the quest book will assist you in reaching the other dimensions and launching your rocket into the stars above. From the FTB team, we hope you enjoy the journey ahead. So, just by joining, we started the island, and we've already visited the overworld. So we get a little bit of experience, some Inferno Carrots, and an Ability Bottle. So, over here, we have the quests. So I'm going to go ahead and get my quest book, and I'm going to go ahead and just check that I've read through all of these. And that actually gets me a Die Bee Spawn Egg and some more experience points. Uh, FTB Skies comes with a cult, a mod which allows you to use shaders, or Oculus, I'm sorry. A, a cult is in this. There is a mod, uh, the occultist mod I think is in here. A uh, mod which allows you to use shaders alongside uh, complementary blah blah blah. I, I don't think my computer is powerful enough to use shaders. It's very, very much not even really capable of running this mod pack. We've just, I, I've, I've got it. it it's, it's been going well. Uh, the pack uh, has events. Uh, you can toggle these events with the event command. Uh, frog, animals, wandering traders, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so random stuff will spawn on the island. Uh, the first few times that I played this, I ended up getting attacked by a mimic chest, like, twice. So, and these are your progression guides. I'm sure you've all watched this before. I just haven't tried a skyblock ever, so... I figured why not use this as a springboard to get back into uh, Minecraft itself and recording itself. So welcome. Uh, on a pedestal, this is a really cool mod. It's difficult to understand and like what you have to right and left click and all that kind of stuff, but I've, I've gotten kind of a hang of it. Create is early game gen uh, for resources and stuff like that. Uh, thermal expansion is in here, which is like kind of mid-staged. Uh, and then eventually we get on into, like, to the skies, uh, to the stars, overpowered. Uh, there are some magic mods in here, and then see Mastering the Occult. That's the mod that I got confused on. 
So there's some magic mods, there's some tech mods. I didn't get into any of the magic mods on my um, test run, just because I wanted mainly just to stick to the basics and see what I was able to accomplish. So this is where we are gonna start. We're gonna start at getting started. So uh, the first few things I need to do is get some cobblestone, a hammer, and all of that kind of stuff. So the mods progress. Every single time you get something and complete a task, you get the rewards. I did a very bad job of looking at what the rewards are for these things, and I was using resources I didn't have to use. So like for the obsidian, I got one piece of obsidian. To get one piece of obsidian gives you eight obsidian. But I didn't realize that, and I didn't uh, read the thing. So I mined... And cre like I sat there for hours just getting one bucket of lava at a time uh, to make obsidian. And when I got my first piece, I could have just automatically gotten all that I needed for a portal. But it is what it is. So we're going to do a little bit better this time. So the first thing I need to do is get some cobble. And to do that, you literally have to just punch the dirt. There is also a chest around the corner here that has some stuff in it. I think when I opened this mod pack earlier, there was something in this spot. I don't remember what it was, but I think it's just a... I, I don't know if it was like a holiday thing, because it is close to Easter. I don't know why, but this Easter egg is also here. That does something really fun, but we're not going to do it until we actually expand the island out a little bit more. Uh, because it pretty much just goes to waste if you don't. So... Uh, got all of this that unlocked another quest i believe base expansion uh shape builder and a builder's t i never actually used those so i don't know what they are yet but we are not going to worry about that quite yet uh i've got some water around the corner here and i've got my tree so i'm going to go ahead and punch the tree uh ultimate mining is in this so I can just do that and automatically uh, cut down everything. And I do have five oak saplings and some bone meal ready. So literally, to get stone and dirt in this pack, I just have to shift click. I'm going to pick up those sticks. Shift, hold down, and it gives me clumps of soil and rocks. The rocks can be crafted into cobblestone. Welcome to the Stone Age. Uh, rocks can be crafted into cobblestone. Clumps of soil can be crafted into dirt. The only thing on that is that it takes a lot to do. So I'm not going to just sit here and uh, do this on camera because it is going to take a while. So was that... Has that been there... Because I played this game forever and didn't see that there. I don't know if that is meant to be there. Or if just sometimes the way that the game spawns. I don't know. But it's there now. I don't remember seeing that on my map in the first two iterations of this map that I played. So hopefully that's not a glitch or a bug. That that's not supposed to be there. But we're going to ignore it for now. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully when I generated the map I didn't click generate structures and accidentally cheat that in so we'll ignore that for now so i am going to sit here and i'm going to punch this dirt for quite some time until i feel like i have just enough resources to get me advanced down some of this quest line So there is my first quest complete, cobbled together, had to get 16 clumps of rock. I only got four clumps of soil. The problem with this is that as you're clicking it, it just flies off in random directions, and a lot of it ends up just going over the edge. So once I get enough, I can kind of build myself a little nook that it's not going to just go flying, but for now, that's all we got to do. So, cobble, that gets me 16 more pieces of cobble, 16 pieces of dirt, and a pet rock. So that pet rock is really just for decoration, so it's kind of annoying. I'm just going to leave it in there. So it is 
not this is not the drill hammer time so i need to make a hammer which is going to get me some more cobblestone so an iron well uh, oh, oh i get okay it told me had to make an iron hammer but any hammer will do so to make a hammer i first need a crafting bench very minimalist on this island there's nothing here I think it's three, and then one on either side, and that should get me that. So what I'm going to do in this iteration is I'm going to do a lot better at making sure I, once I complete a quest, I am going to um, turn it in. Because that was an issue that I had before that I didn't do, and that's what caused me to not get the resources in the proper order so i'm going to take this i'm going to turn this into some cobblestone i have already wasted one piece of cobblestone because i meant to put it there and i'm going to build just a small platform and start making this island bigger uh originally i tried doing this with dirt but i realized very quickly dirt doesn't show up in the soil clumps as often as stone does but eventually i will get uh, an exchanging tool that i can if i want to i can swap out dirt for uh, cobble and vice versa so if i want to make this into more than just cobblestone extending off in all directions uh, i can do that so the next thing to do would be to get gravel i believe which i can do by uh, stacking up some stone and hitting it with a hammer that gets me some gravel which then I also need sand and dust which is going to get me about a quarter stack of each so gravel into sand I'm going to just go ahead and do gravel into sand again and then I'm going to do sand into dust and that is quest complete and that gets me a stack of each of those Next is going to be to sifter go burr, uh, sifting for treasures. So the sifter from um, create is going to start getting me some of like the basic resources. So gravel gets me ores, sand gets me dust. Uh, no, sand gets me like I think. Um, what am I trying to say? It gets me like bamboo, sugar cane, and plant resources. I can also sift dirt, and dirt gets me seeds and everything. Dust is going to get me stuff like redstone. Um, what all is it going to get me? It's going to get me like redstone. I hit the wrong button. So in a string mesh, which is the starter mesh, Dust is going to get me bone meal, gunpowder, and appetite, but eventually once I get to an andesite mesh, I'm going to start getting blaze powder, redstone, glowstone, which is going to get me more advanced. Alright, so the next thing to do is to make that, um, whatchamacallit, the sifter. So it's sifter, I thought I clicked... So I need some stone, which means I need to smelt some cobblestone, and just some planks, which means I do need to grow another tree. And unfortunately, uh, from what I've seen in the past, twerking next to a tree, or just kind of like shifting next to a tree... Uh-oh, did I just activate sticky keys again? Yes, I did. Uh, no, I do not want to turn on sticky keys. Okay. So cut down another tree. I will make an axe at some point once I get some more resources. And I do need to make some torches to go ahead and start lighting up the area. But first I need a furnace. That's going to get me the stone that I need. just gonna smelt up one piece of charcoal that is then gonna furnace and fuel the rest of that I'm just gonna let that die 
so we're not wasting resources. All right, and I will be back once I get some stone. So in FTB Skies Extreme or Expert or whatever it's called, you can take the clumps and put them in your offhand and target what you pick up. But in this version, you cannot. So I'm stuck here trying to just get as many soil uh, clumps as I can, but it's primarily giving me rock. So cobblestone is definitely the more abundant resource, but eventually dirt is going to come in handy when I need to start making farms and stuff. So while my stone is cooking, I'm just sitting here uh, punching the dirt. It's not even necessarily punching the dirt. It's just like holding down right click while shifting on the dirt. So it's not even punching. But my stone is almost done cooking. So once I get that done, I will make my sifter. All right. So you need an empty hand to punch, but I've got enough kind of going right now. Some of it's still fell off the side. I did make myself a little out, uh, like little crop thing, right? Or a box or whatever you want to call it. But I don't have a pickaxe now, so I will make one of those too. All right, so sifter. I need sticks, which means I need more wood. Also, sorry about cars and stuff going by. I have recently moved to a new location, so I have not uh, been able to figure out how to soundproof yet. Uh, my original uh, office that I was in was upstairs, so I did, and on a less busy street. So uh, the location that I am in now is definitely not silent. All right, so a few more sticks. I think I can just do that, and that makes me like half a stack of sticks. Awesome. Uh, I do need a stone button. I think I'm going to need two, actually. So I need a wooden gear. I do need some regular planks. And hopefully this is also going to start unlocking... One of these quests gives me... Um, gives me like more storage because I'm already filling up on inventory very rapidly. So I do need to make a regular pickaxe so I'm not hammering out every time. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a quick cobblestone pickaxe. Achievement get. And I don't want to vein mine because then it'll knock out the rest of my platform. So uh, sifter I already got. The other part of that quest was the uh, mechanical crank so that's going to be three planks a button of some kind and more cobblestone so i'm just going to go ahead and do a stone button some more planks button on top cobblestone at the bottom so that should unlock this but for some reason it doesn't because there is also a create uh like something else there's something else i have to do because like two of them feed into this i have to get the string mesh which i can get from flax and i also need to get a few more logs so i need to grow a few more trees i also need to make sure i don't lose all of my grass I make a regular axe really quick so I don't keep punching with my hands. Line that up. I think these structures just generate randomly already, and because I have build structures on, I think I'm supposed to be able to like fly way out and have to find one, but because of just random generation, I think it ended up there. So I don't think I cheated by having that too close but we'll see so how much more do i have to get by way of logs i have to get a few more so we'll just grow a few more trees 
trying to conserve bone meal, but every time I get crouched like that, I end up accidentally clicking on the ground. So that's no fun. How much more? I need, I have nine out of 16 logs. So I need three more logs and we are good to go. And hopefully we'll get both achievements, maybe? Question mark. All right, so that got me here, which gets me some oak leaves and a golden apple. Uh, and now I just need to make the string mesh. So I need to make a hoe really quick. So I can till some soil. That's not how you make a hoe, that is. So I need to do that. I need to plant one of these flax seeds and just grow it until I can get one piece of string. Because like I said, I'm trying to conserve on the bone meal. I think I've string meshes all the way around. There we go. So string mesh. Did it not give me the achievement for string? Is it because I never actually had it in my inventory? Probably. There we go. Cool. So string mesh, got that. Uh, I am going to go ahead and make a, some more chests. I know at some point I'm going to get some barrels and stuff, but it's this is already getting ridiculous. So I'm not wasting wood. I've still got plenty of saplings. So I'm just gonna throw, this is already gonna go ahead and be blocks and block related. This is gonna be miscellaneous and food for now, food tools, quest rewards. Blocks of dirt can go in there. Books and such can go in here. All right, so now I need, so one of those rewards should have been a cog wheel. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I get four more sifters and one cog wheel. So I can go ahead and probably start expanding this island out a little bit. So I'm gonna stick to threes. So one, two, three, and then let me grab my builder's wand. And we'll just go out probably one so what is that? One, two, three, four, five. And then on this last one, we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four. And I probably need some more cobble in my inventory. Just make a little bit more right there and five. So then now I can take my sifters and I'm just gonna put the cog wheel in the middle. I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five. Put that on top, put string mesh on one of them. And then I need to get sugarcane, which is gonna be sifting sand. Uh, sugarcane is the next one. Iron, uh, I will get from gravel, from sifting gravel. You can get all of these resources from a, so from a string mesh, all you can get is iron. But then once I upgrade to andesite meshes, then you start getting like raw iron, 
uh, copper, all of like the actual sm smelting resources, and then you have a chance for diamond, emerald, lapis. So that's really, really cool. So where is my... Uh, I'm going to progress down the gravel path first because all this does is get me an automatic fissure, which I'm not super interested in. I'm probably not going to use it. Eventually, I'll just get to this point, but the automatic fissure isn't the best thing. All it does is like spit fish out into the world. So once we crank up half a uh, quarter of a stack of gravel hopefully we'll get some iron ingots out of that or nuggets at least uh, and then that will unlock the next few rewards uh, we'll see what we get from those this is going to eat away at hunger so hopefully something gives me food very soon should be close to done I haven't been counting I like that animation though. All right, and done. So we got nine iron nuggets out of that. So that gives me enough literally for an ingot. All right, so andesite alloy, fish stew. So andesite alloy is gonna get us into the next level of create. Uh, so now we need a water wheel, which is gonna be shafts and uh, planks. And then we can also start making andesite mesh, which, like I said, is then going to get us bigger stuff. So did I get shafts? I did not. But shafts is literally just this. It's one, two. So that gets me a shaft. And then I need my oak logs so I can make this. And that gets me one big water wheel which is gonna get me three more water wheels, some more shafts, and a hogling ear to eat. So we'll go ahead and eat one of those, and we'll go ahead and eat both of those. Save some inventory space. The more you eat, the more hearts you get. Like for eating different varieties of food. See, light meal, meal not eaten, what does it taste like? So once I eat it, uh, it tells me uh, that I've eaten it, and it's assisting in hearts. So that's awesome. Uh, this one poisons you, so I need to wait until I get a cow. So then I can um, not die of poison. So what is my next So progression I got here? I got a force backpack and some more flax. Uh, there was a few other quests that I haven't. So food, uh, I can do the farm stuff. And then I'll just go ahead and grab this. See, turning in the quests just fills up your inventory beyond belief. See, some of this stuff I'm never actually going to use. <laughs> uh, don't know what this does. Uh, this the perfect drink uh, to stay motivated, stay saturated. Don't know what that does. Don't know what that means. So, got some eggs, some more foodstuffs. Some straw, which I think eventually is going to help me get dirt. Uh, and then, so my water wheels, I'm going to place over here. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four water wheels. I have made a mistake in the past of cutting down the uh the wheels and dropping them into the void so we're not gonna do that <laughs> more than once and putting them up high like this is going to allow me to run um gearboxes and cog wheels and everything off of them without it being on the ground so i'm gonna need to make a chamber for water so i'm gonna need some more cobblestone and i'm gonna go ahead and make a staircase up here i should probably go ahead and make an infinite water source so i'm gonna do that right here really quick what is that 
Is that like an angel block or something? I've never dug out in the middle of this uh, spot before, so I do not know. So in the past, I've seen that like surrounding the water wheel with water makes it move faster, but in the description up here, it literally says, uh, you can also place water wheels horizontally and then let the water flow around. This could be very easy. Oh, well, cool. Okay, I didn't realize that. But like it's specifically it's some somewhere in here it says uh, that just placing it behind water wheels yeah um, it says somewhere that placing more water covering additional sides will not improve its kinetic output so I think I read that correctly Covering additional sides will not improve it. Can I pause this? Will not improve its kinetic output further. So it just needs to be one block behind and then flowing down. So on this block, so I just need to put a surrounding barrier so the water doesn't spill out. Like so. That can actually go there. There there for now so one water wheel down I need to be able to get up there <laughs> uh, two water wheels three and unfortunately that doesn't become an infinite source so I do have to do one more and that gets me according to the rules that gets me to my full kinetic potential there is no point in adding more water if you want to leave a comment saying otherwise be my guest but as far as I'm concerned that is the max output I can get from water wheels so with that being said, uh, I think that is a good place to uh, wrap up the first episode. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the future of this series. Tune in for more. Bye, guys.